Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Cynthia Anna, and I'm back with another one. My shirt says that I'm thankful for every moment, but I'm especially thankful for all of you who continue to support me. Now, let's get into it. Mexico, I don't know who you think you're fooling, but you are not fooling any of us. The four Americans that got kidnapped, Mexico claims that they arrested five individuals who were responsible those were not the kidnappers, and I'm going to show you that now. Let's get into it. Okay, so these are the five individuals that Mexico claims that they arrested, that they were delivered by the cartel. The cartel left them with a note that says these are the people who were responsible for the Americans being kidnapped. And I want you to take a very good look at these individuals. First of all, I want you to look at the guy in the middle, number three, with the gray t-shirt on. He's literally smiling and laughing as if he's saying, ha, 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 I'm getting ready to go back home to my family. This is hilarious. The other guys are sitting there pretty stoic number two, four, and five. Now, I want you to pay particularly close attention to the guy in the red collared shirt. He has a very distinctive feature that we call a widow's peak. He also looks like he's smirking, but I could see that being interpreted either way. He is obviously the stockiest of the group. Everybody else is very slender or lean, this is the stockiest of the group, and he has the most distinctive feature, which is the widow's peak. Now, okay, so you see the gentleman that has on the vest. I'm sure you guys all know what that vest is for. And he was the main perpetrator who was actually holding the weapon. And if you take a look at him, his build very closely here in this particular image, you'll be able to get where I'm going with this in just a moment. So taking a look at him, he looks like he has a pretty stocky build. He's a little on the larger size and he clearly is the one who is unaliving the Americans because he is holding the weapon. If you look at the video, in detail, you'll see he is the main perpetrator. Now, I have tried to narrow in on him here where you can see his build a little bit closer and you can see he's pretty stocky and he has a larger build. Now, looking at this particular photo here, you get a clear sign of what his hairline looks like. He has a straight edge hairline right across the top of his forehead. Unlike, unlike the individual in the photo that we just saw of the five individuals that were arrested. He clearly has the closest build in the red polo. However, the guy in the red polo does not have a straight edge hairline. He has a very distinctive widow's peak. The only person who even comes close to matching that individual who is carrying the weapons build is the gentleman in the red polo. However, there's no way that can be him because he has a straight edge hairline. There's no way that can be him. So again, I'm not sure who Mexico thinks they are fooling, but they are not fooling us over here. I don't know who these people are, but he is not one of the kidnappers. And I would be safe to assume that none of these individuals are the kidnappers and that this is nothing more than Mexico's attempt at trying to neutralize this situation and desensitize us to making us feel like this is has been resolved, that they have captured the kidnappers, and there's no reason for anyone to be afraid to come to Mexico on vacation for spring break or any other vacation because we have arrested and the people responsible are 
going to be held accountable. And that is nothing but lies.